Hello, friends. Welcome back for another two episodes of Hunter Hunter. Last week we watched episode one, and I won't lie, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Um, I'm hoping that I end up being pleasantly surprised by this show. I may end up loving it. I definitely want to give it a chance and and you know watch a good chunk of it uh, before I decide that I don't like it. But uh, yeah, I think the the first episode was. A little bland for me um clearly meant for kids a younger audience and not that there's anything wrong with that um just maybe not necessarily something that i want to react to but you know we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes uh let's hop into episodes two and three today looking forward to that um seeing what happens when they maybe get to the exam center let's see what happens let's hop in Episodes two and three, season one, Hunter Hunter. <laughs> Test of tests. Does that mean they're gonna do the exam this episode? The one up on the top of that hill. Uh-huh. You'll wanna make your way there first. Hmm. A shortcut? Great! Oh. You can rest easy, Jean. Your boy's grown into a fine young man. Oh, is he dead? Our task is to find the site using only limited information. This is another test to determine if we're worthy of the exam. Yeah, I already knew that, smarty pants! <laughs> the bus to Zabon is gonna leave any second. We need to be on it when it does! Hey! I don't know, I'm, I'm with the kid. I'm intrigued by the captain's advice, but even more so by Gon's behavior. Honestly, same. It wasn't long, but it was nice knowing you. Oh, he's separating. Rookies always fail this part. They believe whatever you tell them. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Wait. Oh, okay. Exciting. Exciting? Time for the exciting multiple choice quiz! Multiple choice quiz! Incredible. Now here is your question. <laughs> group of evil villains have kidnapped your mother and your true love, and you can only save one of them. Oh my god! <laughs> it's your mom. It's not like you can replace your mom. But a lover, you can always find another one. What? You may pass. Seriously? Wow. Different people would answer that in different ways! There's no right answer for that question, it never has been! Maybe that's the point? The boy with the cat eyes has figured it out. Yeah. You learned both your son and your daughter have been kidnapped. You will only be able to rescue one of them. <laughs> this is so messed up! Go Four. ahead and count down, you old hag. Three. Is he gonna threaten to beat her up? With a stick? <laughs> Why would he think that's a good idea? What about that guy? He made it through. She never told him he was correct. All she said was, you may pass. Mm. It's not the path to the hunter exam. Oh, interesting. The real path is right over here. Follow this path for two hours and you will reach the lone cedar tree. I wonder where the other guy's going. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive me for being rude. Don't be. I don't mind. <laughs> huh? Uh, I'm stuck. I can't figure out the right answer. <laughs> Was he not listening that entire time? The boy is right, of course. That is indeed the true purpose of this test. Make you think about that? Another beware of magical beast sign? Ooh. Try to keep up! Oh my god! Leorio, see to his injuries! Right, I'm on it! Also, that's what he's got in his briefcase. Those tattoos. Wait, you're not. Is that from his clan? <laughs> <laughs> I 
How'd you know? Oh! How could you tell that I was an imposter? To be honest, I didn't actually think you were. <laughs> I just wanted to hit him. And you, tell me right now. Who are you and what is it you want from us? <laughs> Another one? I'm, I'm guessing this is all part of the test, too. How many years has it been since anyone was able to tell the two of us apart? I'm so happy. Don't you see? The Kiriko that Kurapika and I hit is actually the husband. Oh. We are the Navigators. Our family provides support for the Hunter exam. I'm their daughter. I'm their son. Oh, but they can look like humans. Okay. They hire navigators like us to help by guiding worthy applicants to the examination site. And then everyone else they just kill? Your superhuman physical ability and your powers of observation defy logic. You too are worthy to take the hunter exam. Are we going to find out that he's like secretly some kind of demigod or something like that? All right. We'll now take you straight to the site of the exam. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're going straight there. All right. That was uh, episode two. Honestly, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than episode one. Um, it seemed like there was a little bit more, um, a little bit more of like a philosophical struggle and... I like that this test is kind of messing with their heads. It's it's psychological a little bit, and I find that really interesting. It's not just pure action. Like, you don't have to fight every single thing you come across. You can use logic to deduce the solution to the problem. I'm not really a fan of, like, let's fight our way through absolutely everything, you know? I'm still finding the main character a little bit like, okay, like, you're perfect. We get it. <laughs> You know, like zero flaws. Um, yeah, I don't know. And like, I'm still getting very much like this is a show for kids kind of vibe, which I think is probably the case. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. I just don't know how interesting I'm going to find it, especially to react to. Like, I think it's one thing to watch something kind of like on your downtime chill Saturday, throw something up on TV that you can just kind of like binge versus doing a reaction series where uh, you have to like review and comment on things. And if if there isn't anything interesting happening, it's really hard to do that. But yeah, I'm interested to see where things are going to go once they get to the exam and like obviously they're going to pass the exam. Although I will say, if one or all of them don't pass the exam, I would find that way more interesting. <laughs> I think it's kind of like expected at this point that they're going to pass the exam. But yeah, I would be very pleasantly surprised if they didn't actually um, and to see how they handle that. But yeah, that was episode two. Let's hop into episode three. It's Zaban's world famous panda frog on a stick. A delicacy. Interesting. A city that's as prosperous as this one is bound to attract its share of unsavory characters. Wow. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Cone? Let's go. Right. So many things. Over here. Huh? This is it. <laughs> the steak combo, please. The one that'll make us see the light. Make it three. Combo for three, huh? Where are all the other applicants? I can't wait for that steak combo. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. You did great for first timers. Well, good luck to you. Thanks for your help. Is this a trick? I hope that Next year, I can help you again. <laughs> so he's saying, like, you're not going to make it? Being a hunter means making more money than anyone in the world! Oh. Wrong! Huh? People become hunters to join the world's most noble profession! What... what do they even do? Hey, hey Gold! Which, which of us do you agree with? with? 
What kind of hunter will you be? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I... Saved by the elevator. Looks like everybody's really on edge down here. Hello! Please take your beans. <laughs> it's getting easier. It's my 35th attempt, so it comes with the... Oh my god. Then there are the brothers, Amori, Imori, and Umori. They work great as a team, so they almost always do really well. Will they never make it? You should be more careful. And do apologize if you bump into someone. Just perfect. The psychopath is back again. <laughs> the devil himself could pass the hunter exam if the examiners say it's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot! Let's have a toast to friendship. I, f I feel like I don't trust anybody. Oh, I was dying of thirst. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, thanks a lot. Mm-mm. Don't trust this. Playing the nice guy again, even though he's the nastiest one here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, but the juice I gave you contains a powerful laxative. <laughs> uh... I hope you brought plenty of diapers. <laughs> That's mean. Please forgive me. I had no idea the juice was bad. You don't have to apologize. Are they not gonna be sus? Then there's the one I really can't stand. 107. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> but after 35 attempts, you have yet to successfully pass the exam. And so, I assume you're too focused on your other objective. It's on to you. Consider it a prize for your consecutive appearance record. <laughs> Farewell. I strongly dislike pretty much everyone in this crowd. That juice was great! Got any more? I don't know if I'm just nervous, but I really am thirsty. Wait, it's the same voice as... Gone. I apologize for the delay. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> what a stash. All 404 applicants will now participate in phase one. But Gon got 405. Something is sus. It's my responsibility to lead you all to the second phase. Second? Whatever happened to the first? The first phase is already underway. Does he even have a mouth? The first phase is quite simple. All you have to do is follow me to the second phase. So try to keep up. Ah. One candidate is disqualified before the test even gets underway, bringing the total number of hunter applicants to 404. Who got disqualified? Okay. Okay, I'm sensing something sus going on. Who got disqualified? We didn't see that happen. Also, yeah, this exam seems weird. The examiner seems weird. He doesn't have a mouth. His mustache doesn't even move when he talks. There's definitely some kind of trick here. There must be. Interesting. Also, yeah, the, the kid with white hair. Kil Killua? Killua? Killua, I think, maybe? He has the same voice as the main character. That can't be a coincidence, right? He's also got like, he's also a kid, similar, you know, face. The hair is different, but it's almost like another version of the main character. Something very... I'm sensing there's going to be some kind of reveal. There has to be. If these things are all coincidences, I would find that very silly. <laughs> you know? Okay, so that was episode two and three. I did enjoy them a little bit better than episode one, I will say. Episode one seemed very, like, basic. Episodes two and three were a little bit more interesting. The 
pacing seems a little bit slow of the show so far, but we're just getting to know people and like not every single episode has to be super crazy, action packed, big reveal, whatever. Uh, So I'm fine with that. I am very like, I want to know, I want to get through this exam part. I want to know what like the point of this show is because it still feels very much like the absolute beginning. Like there's obviously the exam. They're probably like, let's be real. They're probably going to pass it. And then what's the plot? Like there's six seasons. So what, what are they up to? Is it just their misadventures as hunters or do they have some kind of goal? Like I I have to believe there's some kind of big reveal or big uh, catalyst or something that goes wrong. You know what I mean? There has to be. It can't just be this. So I want to find out what that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was episodes two and three of Hunter Hunter. Next week, we're going to be watching episodes four and five. If you would like early access to episodes, you can find those on my Patreon. Patreon is also where I have my full episode reactions. I'm also all over the internet, so feel free to follow me wherever you would like. I will post a link to my link tree in the description of this video as well. And of course, don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to continue watching Hunter x Hunter and other anime with me. Would love to have you along for the journey. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, folks. Have a good one.